giving. Amen. Amen. This evening, she bless us in song of giving. Well, they said I'm going to say, uh, what I was supposed to say in the beginning, give me honor to God and stay here of my life. Amen. <laughs> I know that's how they started, but since I, you know, that's how the church folks started. That's what I know. <laughs> so I just want to say, though, yeah, I don't have to say it because, and you don't have to say it, it's a dime showing. Let me tell you, when I started that first song, Holy Lord, Lord I saw, you were ready before I started singing. She came ready. You came ready to praise and I, I want to say I'm so honored, Pastor. Happy anniversary to you. Uh, thank you so for the word. That is my life scripture. That is my live by scripture. Luke 22, 31 and 32. And the part that got me today in your word is that he already knew Peter was going to mess up and he said to accept the prayer for him. I was remembering that everything doesn't work out and God knew beforehand. It doesn't work out the way I think it was going to work out. But God knew beforehand that he was praying for me. And so as soon as I'm encouraged to go back and encourage everybody, but you would mind it when you went further. <laughs> that he knew he was going to mess up. Isn't it so good? It's so good. Thank you for the second because I was here for my cousin's funeral. And that's when I met Brother Armstrong. And thank you for inviting me back. Thank you, Pastor, for approving that. May I have a second to acknowledge my family who's here? My aunt, Aunt Zayt. I'll say tonight. Yes, Bree. I'm going to have you stand as well. Her daughter, Bree, my cousin. She is who lost her son. I just thank God for the way she was able to walk and let God. She was only 22 and she continues to walk stronger than I have ever seen anybody walk. But my cousins are here. Come on, little cousins. I see y'all. Cousin Sheila, I love you. And I saw my other cousins in the aisle. You know, thank you so much, sir. That's my cousin in law. Okay, he thought I was going to let him sit down. Thank you so much. Ariel, I want you to listen to every word in this song, okay? This is a provider, let me tell you, this is a man who covers his family, who fights for his family, who has been there for his family. He raises those kids. Parenting isn't easy, right? It's not the easiest thing. But he stands and he stands with his family, and I love it, and I love you for it. Yes, that's right, Tristan. <laughs> I have friends also who are here. Thank you so much. Guys, the main person who is here is Jesus, amen. He didn't tell us what he heard, he told us what he knew. And I'm not telling you what I heard, I'm telling you what I know. From having been homeless in Los Angeles, and I was married, thinking everything's supposed to be going well. God was always in that place for me. Always provided for me. He provided grace for me. He provided financially for me. He provided mentally for me. Emotionally for me. He will be whatever you need. Late in the midnight hour, he will be a friend that holds you. He will be someone who consoles you when others don't know you. He knows your name. He knows your need. God provides. Amen. Don't you hold back in the grace. Don't you hold back. God provides so why do I worry about my life when you've come to my rescue a thousand times? And every other voice it is a lie, because God provides, see God provides, and ways I can't explain and can't deny. The little Just when I think you won't show up on time, God provides. He'll come through. When the clouds of doubt rain down on you and test everything you thought you For you, 
Woo! Yeah.